morning children and hello parents. Welcome to Standard 2 English Literature Class. Today I am going to teach you Chapter 7 Rabbit's Turnip from your Gul Mohar book. But before I begin, I would like to make you all familiar with some meanings of the words from your lesson. Number one, hopping about, meaning moving around, in short jumps, With both feet. Number two, Ford. Stuck at something. With both paws. Number three, hurried, moved quickly. Number four, crouched, moved slowly, heavily, with difficulty. Got it, moved fast. Exclaimed, said something. With surprise, or excitement. Number seven, turn it around. Vegetable that is white and purple In color, and grows underground. Now, I will repeat the words and the meanings once again. Number one, hopping about. Moving around in short jumps with 
Both feet. Number two. Pod. Tug at something with both paws. Number three. Hurried. Moved quickly. Number four. Trudged. Moved slowly, heavily, with difficulty. Number five. Trotted. Moved fast. Number six. Exclaimed. Said something with surprise or excitement. Number seven. Turnip. A round vegetable that is white and purple in color and grows underground. Now children, I am going to tell you the story. This is a story of a rabbit and his friends and a turnip. One winter, it was going to snow and the rabbit was hopping around in a field looking for something to eat. So, he pawed at the field till he found something. He found a turnip. Little further, he found a second turnip. So, the rabbit picked up both the turnips and went back home in a hurry. In his home, the rabbit felt safe, warm and happy. But he thought of his friend, the donkey, who lived alone on a hill. He wondered if the donkey had food to eat. So, he slowly rolled a turnip up the hill to the donkey's house. But when he reached there, the donkey was not at home. So, he left the turnip near the donkey's door and he hurriedly came back home because it was snowing. Donkey found a potato for herself. But when the donkey saw a turnip at the side of her door, she was surprised. She said that the potato was enough. So I will give it to my friend the goat who is always hungry. The donkey trotted to the goat's house with the turnip. But when the donkey reached the goat's house, the goat was not at home. When the goat returned back, she had a cabbage. She said, someone must have lost the turnip. So it must be the deer. I will give it to him. So she took the turnip and she went to the deer's house. But when she reached the deer's house, the deer was not at home. So she left the turnip by the side of the door and went back home. Now when the deer returned back home with the carrot which she had found, she saw a turnip lying near her door. She thought, how kind of someone to leave food for her. But she thought that the carrot was enough for her. So she will take the turnip for the rabbit thinking he must not be having food to eat because of the snow. So slowly and carefully she walked to the deep snow to the rabbit's house. When she reached the rabbit's house, the rabbit was asleep. So she left the turnip near the rabbit's door. Next morning, when the rabbit woke up and opened his door, he saw the turnip and he wondered how the turnip had come back to him. Now children, did you like the story? And what did you learn from the story? Yes, we must be kind, generous and helpful to one another. We should not be selfish. 
the notes of this chapter will be uploaded on your school website. Thank you and have a nice day.